you know, so at, at University of New South Wales, I had a uh, cooperative uh, education scholarship, so a co-op scholarship. And one of the things I loved about that was straight out the gate, even after just my first year of study, I was thrown into Western Sydney at a water filtration startup. What I loved about that was during my experience of undergrad, I saw water treatment, I saw steel processing, I saw petroleum processing, and I also saw specialty chemicals. So pretty much a, a potpourri, if you like, of where chemical engineers usually start their careers. Um, I encourage everyone who's in the, the third year, I think, to do that, to get out in industry, whether you get the opportunity to spend six months like I did sometimes immersed in a, a plant down in Melbourne and get to see the culture, and or even if you just get a summer internship or a short-term internship. You know, at any time you go from undergraduate to graduate education or from one job to another, it's an opportunity to pivot. So I pivoted from, at that point, process engineering around steel and water processing to biotechnology. What inspired me is I could now take what I really love, which was process engineering, optimization, understanding all those principles that you all learn as chemical engineers, with a little bit of altruism, making sure I left the world a better place. And for me, healthcare at that point, biotechnology, and now medical devices allows me to do that, to apply those two together. So whatever your passion is, that you can overlap with your chemical engineering skills, look for that and look for it in spades. What you're dealing with in that class, which is an essential life skill that you will use every day of your life, is dealing with ambiguity and uncertainty. So understanding in a class like that, so all those skills around assumptions, and let me take these parameters, here's my best case, worst case, likely case, apply fully in business. Don't say, I'm not qualified because that, oh, I need specifically this qualification. You really don't, and you've got to express confidence that you think you can bring you know, the skills that you have to explain, oh, you're looking for a process engineer to work on quality assurance. Well, here's how I understand the process of quality assurance and what I can bring to bear for that. Do your homework, think about the role, think about your experience, and then bridge from where you are to what they need. What they're really looking for in an interview, frankly, the only thing I'm interviewing for is passion. I'm looking for dedication to this area. So, so go look for that job you have a passion for, you think you can make a difference, and that you really are a top candidate for that, some of, some of the confidence for that. And so never assume that even must have on a job description uh, is an absolute must have. And you know, must have two years experience. Think of it when you walk into that job interview as should have. Chemical engineers can do anything, right? Any process we can optimize because our skills are so transferable. But anyway, thanks for having me.